45% to 50% of marriages in the United States end with divorce, while the percent of divorce in Europe is about 35%. What are the reasons for divorce? Maybe the difference in opinions? The lack of psychological and emotional harmony? The harsh treatment from one side to the other? Many men lack the art of dealing with their ladies. Before the messenger Muhammad, peace be upon him, was sent, the woman, the wife, was not really that much appreciated in different societies. Here, she was burned to death with her dead husband. And there, she was locked in a grave. Nowadays, the man who opens the door for his lady is considered as a gentle, delicate, and civilized man. He's so much appreciated by society and by everyone around him. Back then, 15 centuries ago, this was shameful. It was shameful to respect your wife. It shows that you're not a man. Back then, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, used to lean down on the ground and put his knees for his wife to step on and get on the horse. 20% of pregnant women in the world are subject to violence from their husbands or relatives. 70% of them cannot run away because of their children or lack of income. This madness needs one thing. It needs the teachings of Muhammad. Sayyida Aisha, the Prophet's wife, narrated that one time some of his companion played with the sticks in the masjid and she wanted to watch so he put his hands for her to lean her head on and watch she said I attended to keep watching for longer and longer just to see when will he get bored when will he get tired and remove his hand and she said actually I lost the interest in watching and he was still there for me when the Prophet Muhammad was asked about the right of the wife, he said, Feed her when you get food. Give her clothes to wear when you wear clothes. Refrain from abusing her and do not separate from your wife, except within the house. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, In this world, women and perfume have been made dear to me, and the dearest among all is salah, prayer. And his wife said, that he never hit a woman with his hands. The Quran addresses men about women and says, and do not make difficulties for them in order to take back part of what you gave them. And the Prophet says, you are obliged to support and provide them, your wives, with clothing kindly. The Prophet also says, of the diner you spend in Allah's path, or to set a slave free, or as charity to the needy, or to support your family, the one yielding the greatest reward is that which you spent on your family. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, told his companion teaching them that the best among the believers is indeed the one with the best manners and the one who is most kind and gentle to his wife. The Prophet was asked, Whom do you love the most? He said, Aisha. The one who asked him said, I am asking you about men. The Prophet said, her father. This is how Prophet Muhammad saw his wife. He saw her as the most beloved person to him, and her family was the most beloved family to him. Among all the teachings of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, before dying, he chose to stress on two things. One is the prayer, the main thing in Islam and the other was the wife the woman he said act to them kindly these are the two main things Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him 
chose to stress on before dying. استوصوا بالنساء خيرا. هي زوجتي عنوانها عنواني وحبيبتي بستانها بستاني ورفيقة العمر الذي أيامه في بيتها أزكى من الريحان هي أم أبنائي وروضة مهجتي وشريكتي في الفرح والأحزان هي من إذا مل الفؤاد رأيتها زهرا جديدا يانع الألوان